H E. Let us get its area. Now its area is A D H E. Its area is width times height. So we are having width times the height. But after that, since this ADHE is identical to BCGF, the areas are the same. We multiply it by 2. Then we go ahead. We are done with the shaded parts. Now let us get the top and the bottom. Aha. Uh -huh. The top part, EHGF. Huh? This is width and then this is length. So we shall have length times width. That is for the top part. But the top part and the bottom part, ADCB, they are also identical. That's why we multiply it by 2. Uh -huh. Now, we are done with this and the other. The top and the bottom. Now we are left with A, B, F, E. The area of A, B, F, E. This is length and that is the height. So we are having length times height. So that means that we shall have length times height. But since the top part, the top, which part are we handling? A, B, F, E. Yes, length times the height. Since that part is identical to D, C, G, H, then we also multiply it by, by 2, like this. Then after that, what did the examiner say? We go ahead and add. We go ahead and sum up. So in summing up, we are going to have a plus there and then a plus there. That is how we are going to get the total surface area. Now, we are going to substitute. How do we substitute? This will equal to uh -huh, a 2 into, what is our width? Our width is a 5. Wherever there is width, we just put there a 5. Times what is our height? Our height is a 4. Wherever there is a height, we put there a 4. Mm -hmm. Plus a 2 into length. Length is a 12 times the width, which is a 5. Uh -huh. Then plus a 2 into our length is a 12 times the height, which is a 4. So a 12 times a 4. Uh -huh. We are substituting. Those who have just joined us, you are still with Obonyo Kenneth. We are handling 